Next, we will study about a very important concept, superheterodyne receiver. The process of mixing two signals having different frequencies to produce a new frequency is called as heterodyning. The superheterodyne receiver converts every selected RF signal into a fixed lower frequency called as intermediate frequency. The block diagram of a superheterodyne AM receiver is as shown. Let us see the function of each block in detail. Receiving antenna. The AM signal transmitted in the form of electromagnetic waves. When received, it induces a small voltage in the receiving antenna. RF stage. RF stage is an amplifier which selects the required signal and rejects all other received signals. It also reduces the effect of noise. As its output, we obtain the desired frequency signal, say FS. Mixer. Mixer receives two inputs, one from RF amplifier and one from local oscillator satisfying the conditions FO is always greater than FS. The mixer mixes these two signals and generates the signal having different frequencies such as FS, FO, FO plus FS and FO minus FS. Intermediate frequency, IF. Out of the four frequencies produced by a mixer, the difference component FO minus FS is selected and all others are rejected. The difference component is called as the intermediate frequency. This IF signal is then amplified and it provides most of the gain to the receiver. Hence the sensitivity and selectivity of a receiver do not change with the change in incoming frequency. Detector The amplified IF signal is detected by the detector to recover the original modulating signal. This signal is then applied to the loudspeaker. Automatic gain control. We know that every amplifier has its own gain. Higher the gain, better is the amplification. AGC circuit controls the gains of RF and IF. This keeps the level of the output voltage constant even if the input signal at the receiving antenna fluctuates. The advantages of superheterodyning are no variation in the bandwidth, high sensitivity and selectivity, high adjacent channel rejection. We will see the superheterodyne FM receiver. The block diagram of a FM receiver is as shown. RF amplifier. RF amplifier is used in FM receivers to improve signal to noise ratio of a signal. Also, it matches the receiver input impedance with the antenna impedance which is required for good reception of a signal. Mixer. Similar to AM receivers, the mixer stage in FM receiver down converts the received signal to the intermediate frequency IF. It is carried out in a similar way as that of AM receiver. IF amplifier. IF amplifier performs the same operation of applying the intermediate frequency to the desired level. But as compared to AM, the FM requires high bandwidth. Hence, IF is nearly 10.7 and BW is equal to 200 kHz. Amplitude limiter stage. In FM, the amplitude of a modulated wave remains constant ideally. But practically, when the wave is transmitted, random noise and other unwanted signals get added to the modulated signal and its amplitude changes. These amplitude changes must be eliminated before the signal goes for demodulation to recover back the original signal as it is. Amplitude limiter removes all these unwanted signals and hence it is always placed before the FM detector as shown. FM detector. FM detector demodulates the FM wave and extracts the information signal, passing it via a power amplifier. It is then amplified to the loudspeaker.